live. Live from Henderson. Mr. Benitez himself. Excuse me for being so late. I haven't, hold up. I've been so busy learning new techniques, trying to get certified. Actually took a job from an, a, an official arborist company. But anyway, enough chit chat. Enough lip flapping. This is what I was born to do. Let's do this. Shout out to my, my father and shout out to my uncle and shout out to this client and shout out to all the clients that actually care about their trees and their palms that they hire us annually or even two times a year. That's a beautiful thing because they care. They're supporting small business, big business, the ec local economy, the community, and that's what's what it's all about my friends <laughs> so this might disappoint you but they did ask for a hurricane style trim so that means we're gonna go ahead and leave not a 10 to not a nine you know not not a very tight trim more so that means maybe like four palm fronds up there don't shoot the messenger guys i'm just you know i tried at you i even explained to the client you know the the, the risk about over pruning but they don't care they just said remove as much as they can if they die they die all right see you at the top all right my friends live from henderson nevada aka las vegas for the locals uh, non-locals let's go ahead and do this so what i'm gonna do the goal is to safely over prune this tree like i said we're gonna give it a leave it up like maybe four palm fronds up there tap myself with my hitch climber and then swing to this palm tree do the same to that one and then just come down and by myself let's go let's do this so i got this job thanks to my father and my uncle they maintain this property No, uh, you know, they used to hire somebody else, but now that they know that I climb palm trees, they hire me all the time. I was, I shouldn't say all the time, but the majority of the time. So we're not going to use a chainsaw because I think it'll be overkill even though it'll be more efficient but I'm going to use my silky handsaw make a video about the silky handsaw it's been a while I already made a video of the electric echo so let's go ahead and do this one. let's do this like I said tight trim requested don't shoot the messenger Still efficient. One strike. That's pretty efficient.
Oh, that was three slides. Okay, three, four, that's four. I don't feel comfortable leaving one. I don't want, no, I already over pruned. I know the internet is going crazy. I know all the arborists are going crazy and saying you're over pruned. But like I said, don't shoot the messenger, please. This is how they want it in Vegas. And like I said, I oh, I already pruned this twice a year because it was over pruned. They grow, they grow twice as fast. Trying to regenerate whatever green foliage it lost. But it is what it is. Let's go. I think I'm gonna get a new helmet too. Cause my my red Protos is it's beat up, man. So I think it's about time. And plus it, it already served its purpose. I had it for like four years, I believe. Okay. So those who are like hesitant about buying a Protos helmet, you shouldn't. You should buy it because it's worth every penny it lasted me about like maybe I think it's pushing five years man I'm not even lying I'm lying I'm lying maybe four years okay enough, enough flip enough weapon let's go ahead and do this so you see this little thing I don't want it to get stuck so what I'm gonna do is put it over it like this there we go yup like that that way, because if it gets tucked in right there, like right there, in between these pump, the pump from where I cut and the, the main base, they would maybe a slim chance of getting stuck. But that's not what what uh, that's not what we're about over here. Just some detail work. Let's go. So this one's the little stuff. Okay, that's good. So now this one. No traversing, no nothing. We're just gonna, you know what? This is a little too close. I did this because it was I was pruning a canary palm tree earlier. So let's go ahead and just leave it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and detach myself. Don't worry guys, I'm already attached here. That's just, this is two points of attachment. I'm gonna release one, still attached. So the goal is try to attach yourself as fast as possible. Don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. Just give me a call. Yes. Beautiful. And there are lights one more. Well, let's make sure there's no lights, no landscape lights, nothing we're gonna damage, no bushes, no nothing. Okay, so that's all a free zone. So what I'm gonna do is just let them fall where gravity wants to let them fall. Oh, that's why. There you go. Let me go ahead and readjust myself because it's not a it's not a race. I like to be comfortable when I'm working. And I also learned not to flush the cuts, so leave a little bit, you know. But the last ones you can, I guess, in a way. I don't know. It's sometimes every climber is different. But ISA says you need to leave the stud. Three, four, that's it. So just for shits and giggles, we're gonna go ahead and um. Whoa. We're gonna go ahead and make a quick little video about me 
retrieving that friction saver bring it over here now another option would be just swing over and for entertainment purposes that would be more more fun to watch but i think i'm i'm gonna i'm, I'm just gonna i'm gonna go ahead and bring it over let's go there we go see how easy that was to slide over because there's no there was nothing to be tucked into you know okay so now we're gonna do the same thing we did to the other pump put it in there i have a splice die so i don't have to whoa i don't have to worry about the blakes uh doing a blakes hitch none of that old school stuff but shout out to the old school because without them we wouldn't be here all right but then there's old school and then there's ignorance but that's just for that's a whole other chapter but anyway okay let's go let's go ahead and do this whoa that's it you know for the people that be like oh aren't you scared that you might fall i i am always scared you know i'm always scared but the thing is look how bendable these are our good friend in florida his name is christopher chris shout out to just palms in florida he said palm trees are like rubber bands they will they can bend they can stretch but they will not break rubber bands do break but you know what i mean you get the you get the analogy all right we're gonna go ahead and detach myself and then we're just gonna repel and this is the this is my favorite part of the job repelling down from afar quick shout out to all my clients that have supported me over the years this is just the beginning my friends i know it's been i've been taking my time but you guys will not be disappointed anyway so like i said don't shoot this messenger they want me to they wanted me to leave like one up there that's never the case i will never leave that one up there so i left four You know the book says don't over prune but they'll come back these are palms they're like they're like a i finally agree with everybody that was in my comments saying about palms are just one big grass in a way that is very true even the even the certi certified arborists say it. even the scientists say it thank you for watching my friends till next time okay climb safe